Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a multi-step causal static structure analysis in WSIM. I'm using WSIM 1.9. So before we start an analysis, let's check our unit. So in this analysis we're going to use US customary per an inch. This one, click OK button. Okay, let's start a project. So in the project property, we already have the default structure analysis and the static analysis. So it's what we want. Now let's create a geometry. So click box. And let's say the X and Y be one and the Z keep the default 10. So it's kind of uh, uh, a bar. In the mesh setting, we set to the maximum element size is two point, it's point. Is point 0.2 and uh, we use the quadratic analysis mesh. Okay, since this is a multi step analysis, we define three steps here. Okay, in the property called number of steps, we input the value three here. If we double click, we can see there are three steps and the end time. Any time for each step is one second, two second, and three second. Okay. Now let's impose the boundary conditions. So we add a constraint. Um, this left end and impose a force on another end. So this is a multi-step analysis. So we can see on the table we have four rows, start from zero time to zero one, zero two, zero three. So we're going to impose the force on the y direction. The first step we impose 6,000 pounds. The second step we impose negative 900. The negative number means it's uh, in the another direction. Then the third step we use the same magnitude of the force, the 6,000 pounds. Okay. Here the x and the y, x and the z direction, which is given to zero. Okay, that's uh, how we define the boundary condition for the multi-step analysis. Okay, and click solve button. Okay, then solve it down. Let's add some result. So we want to see the definition on the y direction. Double click. So we see the result contour showing on the graphics window. And also, we can see the maximum minimum value for the deformation on y direction. We see the maximum value was like a 0 0.832 something. And the second step, the deformation become a negative number. Let me go a little bit more. Oops. So I need to hold the the middle button and drag it. So the deformation on the y direction is kind of a negative value. Okay, and uh, on the third step, let's just here the third step, the deformation on y direction is same as the second step, the first step. Okay, then double click on the stress. We can evaluate to the one basis of stress. So this is a result contour. And on the right side, the same thing is max and minimum value of the stress. So that's how we do the multi-step causal static analysis in WSIM. If you have any questions, comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.